With the explosion of fifth generation fighter jets, the F-35 has debuted as an icon in the military aviation industry with all variants, quickly establishing itself as the most widely used fighter jet today. But the most exciting part is yet to come. Let's see what makes it stand out and how it becomes so popular. Are you ready? The F-35 is an advanced fighter jet with unmatched survivability, connectivity, and strike capabilities the most in the world. It gives pilots a decisive edge against any adversary, ensuring that the United States and its allies remain one step ahead of all threats. As old aircraft fade into history and opponents advance, the F-35 will play a crucial role in maintaining air superiority for decades to come. Currently in production with three distinct variants, each tailored to specific operational environments and missions, this aircraft stands as a true technological marvel. While each variant has its own set of strengths and weaknesses, they collectively embody a new era of fighter jet capabilities. Now, let's take a look at how each variant will threaten its opponents. The first variant, and also the most common variant of the F-35 series, with over 3,000 orders, is the F-35A. Currently, it is being used by many air forces around the world or has received orders. The highlight of this variant lies in the perfect balance between superior air combat capability and comprehensive multi-role performance. In terms of size and weight, it is the smallest and lightest variant among its siblings. This gives it a significant advantage in maneuverability and acceleration. The heart of the A variant is the F-135 afterburning turbofan engine, the most powerful on the market today. This power allows it to reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 plus and perform complex maneuvers. In addition, the F-35A is designed to take off and land on standard runways, making it easy to deploy and operate from various air bases. However, this also means that it cannot land on an aircraft carrier deck without damaging the light single wheel nose gear. So, as the lightest variant, what is its weight? Well, its dry weight is approximately 13.2 tons. In terms of performance, this variant can withstand up to nine gravitational accelerations despite being the smallest and lightest variant. This impressive figure allows the pilot to perform extremely difficult maneuvers, helping it gain an advantage in air combat. This capability puts it superior to the rest two variants and on par with the F-16 and some other European light fighter aircraft. Besides, with a combat range of 1,100 to 1,400 kilometers, depending on the mission and conditions, the F-35A can perform attack and patrol missions over long distances. Its maximum ferry range reaches about 2,200 kilometers with internal fuel. Besides, another special feature of the F-35A is that it is equipped with an internal gun, equipment not found in the other two variants. Although it adds a layer of complexity, the internal gun helps maximize this variant's air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capabilities in case other weapons fail. And this is the most outstanding point. Its internal fuel capacity is 8.3 tons, almost three times that of the F-16. It also has an impressive weapons capacity up to 3.6 tons. Overall, the F-35A is considered a versatile, powerful, and efficient fighter with a maximum takeoff weight of 31.8 tons. The next variant is the F-35B, a game changer that significantly deviates from the F-35A's design. What makes the B stand out the most is its modified engine, which grants it the incredible ability for short takeoff and vertical landing, Stovall. But don't be fooled. On paper, this is just a technical classification. In reality, this variant can achieve full vertical takeoff VTO from a standstill, making it an engineering marvel. Notably, it was specifically designed with the United States Marine Corps in mind. So their mission is to launch operations from the sea and push inland, whether through island hopping campaigns or full-scale invasions of larger nations. Unlike the Navy, which operates massive aircraft carriers with catapult launch systems, the Marines rely on smaller carriers and amphibious assault ships. The F-35B's design allows it to launch from these compact decks without any catapult assistance, making it an indispensable asset in modern warfare. The B variant is perhaps the closest embodiment of what was originally envisioned for the Joint Strike Fighter, a true multi-role attack aircraft that seamlessly operates from both land and sea. But this technological leap comes with trade-offs and it is the range and payload capacity. To achieve vertical takeoff and landing, 
This variant is equipped with a complex shaft-driven lift fan, a key component of the Rolls-Royce lift system. This intricate mechanical setup is significantly heavier than the systems found in the other two variants and takes up valuable internal space. As a result, it carries roughly one-third less internal fuel than the F-35A, severely limiting its range. To shed even more weight, it also forgoes an internal gun, instead of relying on an external gun pod. Regarding performance, the B is limited to pulling seven gravitational accelerations, substantially lower than the F-35A, bringing it closer to the Super Hornet in terms of maneuverability. But here's the thing. The Marines never intended the F-35B to dominate in air superiority. Its true strength lies in strike missions, where it delivers devastating precision attacks. It is great, but how about the weakness? Where the F-35B truly falls behind the other variants is its combat radius. With internal fuel, it reaches just 940 kilometers, while its total range maxes out at 1,700 kilometers, noticeably shorter than its siblings. Weight-wise, the B is heavier than the F-35A, with an empty weight of 14.7 tons. It also carries less fuel at 6.6 .6 tons, and has a lower weapons capacity of 6.8 tons. Overall, its maximum takeoff weight is 27.2 tons, 4.5 tons lighter than the other two variants. However, the F-35B still packs an impressive punch. With a moderate fuel load, its thrust-to-weight ratio climbs to 1.04 at 50% fuel, slightly lower than the F-35A's 1.07 under the same conditions but higher than the F-35. C. It may not be the longest-range fighter in the F-35 family, but in terms of versatility, it stands in a league of its own. And now, it's the time to discover how stunning F-35C is. The F-35C, though a special variant with a unique design thanks to its larger wings, unlike the F-35A and F-35B, gives it a sturdy shape more suited for carrier operations. However, it is the least popular of the three variants, rarely appearing at air shows or public events. It's also the least produced and has no confirmed international customers. The US Navy primarily uses the C variant, and with this design it serves as a bridge between A and B, but lacks the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, capability of the B variant. Instead, it uses catapults for takeoff and landing by arrestor wires, making it a true carrier-based aircraft with superior payload and range. The larger wing area allows this variant to perform more efficient catapult launches and recovery from conventional carriers, while also increasing fuel capacity and range compared to the B variant. However, this design makes it heavier and more complex, with a dry weight of approximately 17.25 tons, 2.75 tons heavier than the A, and 1 ton heavier than the B. Despite being heavier, it carries more fuel and retains a similar weapons capacity to the A, around 9 tons. However, with the F-135 engine, it has a thrust-to-weight ratio of 0.75 at maximum weight, lower than both the B and A. This makes the C variant less powerful in terms of speed and agility. But with a combat radius of 1,100 to 1,400 kilometers, and a range of up to 2,200 kilometers, it remains ideal for long-range naval missions. Despite these advantages, the F-35C is largely overlooked internationally, as many countries tend to favor the more versatile F-35B for maritime operations. But the story doesn't end with the three familiar variants. There's another mysterious player, a fourth unofficial variant from overseas, the F-35 Wyadir. Nicknamed the ace of the Israeli Air Force, IAF, the Adir isn't just an ordinary F-35A. It was redesigned and modified by the talented hands of Israeli engineers themselves, transforming it into a unique and potentially powerful war machine. Few know that behind Adir's creation lies a tale shrouded in secrecy. After tense negotiations, the U.S. reluctantly allowed Israel to make some separate changes toes into the F-35A's season. Simply put, the Israelis believe that the F-35's stealth capabilities won't last forever. They fear that adversaries will soon develop radar technologies capable of unmasking that stealthy exterior. And so the Adir was born, carrying within it technological secrets that no one could have imagined. It's equipped with cutting-edge electronic and physical countermeasures, along with sensitive sensors that help it detect and counter any threat. 
What's particularly special is that Israel also unlocked the onboard computer system, allowing it to easily integrate homegrown technologies. However, this also means that this variant may encounter vulnerabilities in cybersecurity compared to the standard closed system. But that's not all. Israel also harbors ambitious plans for the Adir's future. They want to equip it with conformal fuel tanks to carry out long-range strike missions, while also upgrading the weapons bay to be able to carry bombs and missiles made in Israel. Advanced stealth technology, jamming pods, and even a two-seat variant are also on the Israeli wish list. Israel Aerospace Industries even revealed that its two-seat variant is receiving special attention from many other air forces around the world. In summary, the F-35 Juana Deer is not just an ordinary F-35 variant. It is the result of Israel's creativity, self-reliance, and strategic vision. The three existing variants have a rate between 27% and 40% of their same parts, with the F-35C being the most distinct, featuring 43% unique components. In contrast, the F-35A shares the most parts with the other variants. This is crucial to consider, particularly when thinking about the availability or potential lack of parts. As we've observed, each of the three primary F-35 variants is highly specialized for its specific role. The Adir, technically based on the A variant, brings its own strengths, but fundamentally it remains an F-35A variant. Among the F-35 family, the A variant offers the most in terms of its base configuration, with the internal gun providing a notable advantage. It also excels in air combat, with a 9 gravitational acceleration rating and impressive agility, potentially on par with the F-16. Both the B and C variants, however, do not share this advantage, and the Adir may lose this capability once equipped with additional fuel tanks. Since 2021, discussions have been underway regarding a new export variant, although Lockheed Martin has yet to confirm any specifics about its design or potential customers. It will be fascinating to see how this develops and whether a two-seat version will emerge. Especially, pilot feedback suggests that the F-35 is a formidable opponent, especially in team operations. Initially, media criticism focused on its agility and air combat performance, but real-world encounters have proven that engaging this fighter in the visual range is extremely challenging, particularly due to the quick response of its F-135 engine. With an expected service life of over 40 years, the F-35 program has a long road ahead, and the continued development and investment from air forces are likely to remain strong in the near future.